Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll see what the default constraint does. So default constraint is nothing but whenever you are inserting the data into the created table, uh, you want to set some default value to specific columns so that uh, each time you can't be giving the value to that column. At that time, you can make use of this default constraint. So we'll just see how to do that. First of all, let me create a table, a simple table, which contains just two columns. Okay, the table name is default tab and it's going to have um, PID that is int type and um, name. So, var char and it's going to contain 20 bytes and the table got created. Now, let me insert a value to it, insert into the default underscore tab to the column called PID and I'm going to say values to be some 10. So one row got inserted. Now if you select the table you can see the output like this that is you haven't mentioned anything in the name column so in order to overcome this you can check or you can you can specify default constraint so that whenever you're not giving the value to the respective column e uh, each time the by default it will give a specific column that your specific value that you've mentioned so how to do that is already have created a table let me just alter the table and show you how you can set a default value to your respective table that is nothing but alter table default underscore tab okay and um, just say alter table then give the table name and say modify the column okay and um, which column you want to modify name right name and sorry just say modify name and mention default and what is the default value that you want to mention if the value is not given I'm going to simply mention Tim okay so it's a very uh, simple example this is not how you use the default constraint I'm just giving it so that you can get a brief idea about the default constraint so you can see the table has been changed so now in the same way how I inserted the previous value if I insert another value to our table you can select the table and see what happens now is you can see I haven't mentioned anything over here I just gave the PID to be 20 but automatically the Tim got inserted because I gave a default constraint as Tim that is I altered the table and gave it to you okay so same thing the default uh, Tim value has been inserted to our table so this is how you will be making use of the default um, constraint so hope you guys have understood this concept and it, it will be useful for you in your future projects or something so keep supporting my videos and um, and as well another thing I wanted to mention here is um, whenever this is like you if you're not giving the value right if you give the value automatically the new value will override the default value that is very simple I'll just show you that too so insert the into this one and say values and mention it as 30 and uh, I'm going to say rad so if you see the table now automatically the rad sits so that it's because the new value is overriding the default value so you can do that do that also if you're not giving then automatically the default value is mentioned so this is what is about the uh, default constraint. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Keep supporting my videos and thank you very much for watching.